Welcome to General Biology. Today's presentation is going to be on non-Mendelian inheritance, and we're going to focus on multiple allele traits. So one common multiple allele trait is something that all humans have, and that's the ABO blood system. So people who have type A blood are going to form A antigens on the surface of their red blood cells, and their immune system has the potential to produce type B antibodies. People who have B blood are going to have B antigens on the surface of their red blood cells and the potential to make A antibodies. People who have type AB blood have both antigens on the surface of their red blood cells and they won't produce antibodies for either one. And people with type O blood don't have any of those antigens on the surface of their red blood cells and have the potential to make type A and B antibodies. So what would happen if the antibodies formed uh, against these antigens? Well, if you have a person with type A blood donating to O, the, if the antibodies form, you're going to get blood clots. And these blood clots can be very serious. You can see here that the blood clots, uh, if those get stuck in capillaries in your lungs or in your heart, they can cause serious ailments. Um, a type A person would also cause type B blood to clot. Type B can't donate to anybody but B or AB. Notice AB never has a problem, and that's because they don't produce any antibodies, so no matter what blood they get, it doesn't matter. They're not going to clot it up. And type O can donate to everybody without a problem because they don't have any uh, surface antigens, so anybody else's antibodies won't see anything, so they never clot. And so the way the system works is like this. Type O is the universal donor, and type AB is the universal recipient. O can donate to A, B, or AB. A can only donate to A or AB. B can only donate to B or AB. And AB can only donate to AB. Blood typing is not the only multiple allele trait. We can see multiple allele situation in domesticated rabbits, um, where you have three different genes. Well, actually four different genes. You have the black gene, the chinchilla gene, the Himalayan gene, and the albino gene. And how these things combine with one another determines the appearance of the rabbit. So there's multiple alleles. There's four different alleles for rabbit color. Each individual rabbit only has two alleles, but there's four different alleles in the population. And how those combine determines your color. Another example is in chickens. The comb that's on the top of their head can come in many different forms. And which form you have is dependent on which alleles you have. And so you can see lots of different forms of the uh, comb depending on the alleles. There's four main alleles in the population and how those alleles combine determines how the chicken's comb looks.